dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Delivered from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, Dr. Martin Luther King's famous I Have a Dream speech 47 years ago changed the country and brought about greater racial harmony between blacks and whites. More than a quarter of a million people gathered for the March on Washington on August 28, 1963. Howard University political science professor Lorenzo Morris says it was a defining moment for the U.S. civil rights movement and the country's history. The 1963 March on Washington set not only a value framework for the minorities who participated in, for the progressive whites who joined with the African Americans, but also for the nation. Its acceptance after the fact meant that the nation had to change directions, not just because of the laws, but because we recognized the shared values of greater racial and social integration. Decades later, social and civil rights activists are upset that Glenn Beck, a popular conservative commentator and talk show host, is holding a large-scale rally at the Lincoln Memorial on the anniversary of King's speech. They accuse Beck and followers of the conservative Tea Party political movement of deliberately picking the date to distort King's message. Rick that, Turner of the uh, NAACP the says well, Beck and other elements studio, of the Tea Party movement are using an icon like King to create division. His philosophy is diametrically opposed to uh, those of uh, Dr. Martin Luther King and um, his legacy and his message. Virginia Tea Party member Carol Thorpe says while she understands the concerns of some civil rights activists, the purpose of the event is something everyone can support. I'm sensitive to the sensitivity people who think that this is a, you know, a bad idea or something that's uh, offensive to them. It's non-political, it's non-partisan. I understand that it's to honor the U.S. military. Glenn Beck says it's a coincidence that his rally is taking place on the anniversary of the March on Washington. He says the organizers initially planned to hold it on September 12th, but changed the date so more people could attend. But critics like the NAACP's Rick Turner says it's also inappropriate that the National Rifle Association is a partial sponsor of the event, considering that Martin Luther King was assassinated by gunshot. There's enough room at the Lincoln Memorial for other groups. Uh, it's a big place, but uh, I, I think it's I think that that uh, it's a poke in the eye of, of the civil rights movement and, and the legacy of Martin Luther King. Neither Beck nor the NRA have commented on that point of criticism. Despite their claim of coincidence, Professor Mars says he thinks Glenn Beck and supporters of the Tea Party movement realize the importance of the anniversary of Dr. King's speech. Glenn Beck and others today want to do something to steal part of that legacy. The praise of the legacy indicates its importance. They want to somehow transform it, to distort it into something that the people they represent shared in rather than in some ways resisted. Civil rights activist Al Sharpton and his National Action Network along with the NAACP, the largest U.S. civil rights organization, will also hold a march nearby saying they want the true legacy of Dr. King's dream to be remembered. Chris Simpkins, VOA News, Washington.